Well, the motion picture industry can give us some pretty far out ideas about what robots can do. Here on the campus of Trine University, our robotics team tackled a hands-on project to help equip the Trine marketing team. We kind of got together and decided we wanted to do a robotics project, but we didn't know what. Um, and the department lets you submit proposals on uh, three separate design concepts or something you're going to try and attempt. Um, one of those being a uh, remote control vehicle that could s stabilize a camera and drive around campus to kind of promote the university. Uh, we found that one very interesting and that's the one that got selected by the chair. Wade Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Chair Dr. Susan Lance directed the project and knows a lot about how these projects come together. Senior design is meant to sort of bring together all the courses that students have taken over the years into one big project. And contrary to what a lot of people believe, the big emphasis in senior design is not so much building something, although that quite generally is a result, the main emphasis is learning to communicate what you've done and what you've learned and what you plan to do. Um, conscientious. They are very aware of the criteria that you have set for this project and they're doing their very best to meet all the specifications. The radio control marketing vehicle is really an integration between the electrical and mechanical. Uh, we started out really working with the idea of using a mechanical uh, gyroscope for it. Uh, so really looking at the uh, mechanical aspects of stabilization. Uh, but then I've also looked at uh, what electronical things could we use with servo motors and things like that that we could integrate in uh, to help with the stabilization of the camera. And so it's, it's really been a constant evolving process of of finding a problem and then sometimes the solution to that problem would create another one so it's just been an evolutionary process. Allen School of Engineering and Technology Dean Dr. V.K. Sharma is excited about the way senior design projects connect engineering students with industry. Uh, the strength of the Allen School of Engineering and Technology is a small size. The incredible dedication of our faculty to teach students and to make sure they succeed, the quality of the graduates that we produce, these students are ready to go to the industry from day one and start as a valuable contributing employee. Um, our design products, get them ready for that. We got together as uh, robotics miners and decided we wanted to work together so our interest was in the digital systems electrical science side of mechanical engineering and the uh, mechatronics or interaction between uh, mechanical devices and electrical devices. So not only the robotics students but the other three groups as well are also learning these skills and they're all doing really well. I love working with the senior design students. It's so fun. The energy and success of this robotics project translates to Trine's other disciplines as well. In November, the Maqueda Department of Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering made it three wins in the past four years when Trine's Brian Ashenfelter swept all the top awards at the 2009 American Institute of Chemical Engineering National Student Design Competition. In April, a team of Reiner's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering students captured second place in the Mechanically Stabilized Earth Wall Building Competition during the American Society of Civil Engineers Great Lakes Regional Conference. Last spring, the American Society of Civil Engineers named Trine University graduate Ben Granaway a new face of civil engineering, an award presented to only 10 civil engineers each year.
custom engineered and fabricated radio controlled marketing vehicle was designed specifically for the Trine University brand and integrated marketing department. The fully articulated gyro stabilizing head will be able to transmit a video image back to the operator to allow him to steer the vehicle and maneuver the camera with 180 degree lateral and 90 degree vertical movement. The refined suspension system allows smooth vehicle movement and subsequent steady video imagery. The vehicle weighs nearly 35 pounds. Thank <laughs> you.